In this lab, we'll be characterizing diodes. A diode is a device that allows uh, current to flow in one direction, but not the other. Uh, specifically, we'll be looking at the current voltage characteristics of a diode. Uh, that's it, how much voltage is applied across the diode and the current that is allowed to pass at a specific voltage. Uh, we'll be doing this in a couple different ways. The first way, we'll be doing it by hand uh, using multimeters. Uh, so we'll have a diode. The diode we are using here is an A10070 diode. And we'll be putting it in a circuit with variable, various resistors of different resistances, measuring the voltage across the diode and also the voltage across the resistor in order to calculate the current in the circuit. Uh, we'll be using a breadboard. So the breadboard allows us to put different devices into it and allow it to be electrically connected in the circuit. Uh, specifically, the breadboard has columns. So on the side, these columns are electrically connected, but each column is isolated from the column next to it. And then in the middle, we have rows, where each row is electrically connected, but isolated from the rows above or below it. Also, the left-hand side of the board is isolated from the right-hand side of the board. So first, we're going to look at the resistor. We have variable, various resistors uh, from 1 ohm, or excuse me, 100 ohms up to 1 mega ohm, and we'll be substituting them in uh, to measure the voltage across the diode. Uh, so first, let's measure the resistance of the resistor, because even though on the package it might say 100 ohms or 1,000 ohms, it might not necessarily be that exact number. And of course, the resistance of a resistor also has other factors, such as the temperature, that influence it. So the multimeter is, allows us to measure ver uh, different things, such as voltage or current or resistance. So first, let's look at resistance. We'll switch it to the resistance. We need to make sure that the black line is connected into COM, which is the ground. The red line is connected for resistance. Uh, put, make sure it's in the right port. There's other ports, for example, for measuring current at high currents or current at low current or voltage. And you need to make sure you put it into the right one. Otherwise, you might ruin the circuitry inside. There's usually a fuse inside that might blow if you're plugged into the wrong one and measuring the wrong, uh, the wrong property. So we have it on resistance. We're going to put the leads across the resistor. And we will record this resistance value. So this is 98.9 ohms. So we'll record that number. I'll record it in my computer, and I can give this to you in class. OK. So that's our first resistor. I'm going to put this in here just so we can keep track of it. Our second resistor should be uh, 10 times that amount, so about 1 kilo ohm, or this is exactly 0.976 kilo ohms, so 976 ohms. 976. And I'll put that in here to keep track. So we'll be using these resist resistances in series with the diode and apply a potential from a power supply and measure the voltage across uh, both the resistor and the diode. So let's set up that circuit. I have the diode. The diode has, it has a little marking on it. On this side, there's a little uh, ring. And that indicates the direction of forward bias for the diode. So we want to make sure that the positive uh, terminal is on the other side, or the negative terminal is on this side. So we're going to put this into the breadboard here. We'll start with 98.9 ohms. Put it in like that. So I put one leg on one row here 
and though they're on the other side, remember it's isolated down the middle, so this leg and this leg are not connected. And then in the same row, I put one leg of the resistor and then put the other leg of the resistor in another row. So these two legs are isolated as well. And then I'll apply a voltage across the positive uh, bias on this side and the negative electrode on this side. Okay. So we'll use the, the this is a DC power supply. So remember the, wall, the current from the wall and the voltage from the, the, uh, the grid is 120 volts AC and then this power supply will convert the 120 volts AC into a variable up to, we're going to go up to 10 volts DC. All right, so here's the positive lead. I'll put this on the leg here, the leg of the resistor. It, it doesn't matter if the resistor is before or after the diode, uh, but we'll put it right there. And then the negative lead Yes, ground rather, because you could have a negative bias versus ground. Negative, the ground on that side. Okay, and then our multimeter. I got too many wires. This multimeter will be measuring the voltage across the resistor. So I'll take the positive lead, connect it into one leg of the resistor, and the negative onto the other side of the resistor. And then this multimeter will measure the voltage across the diode. So positive first, and then negative. Okay. So when I turn the power supply on, it'll have a positive potential from here to this side. So remember, current flows from positive to negative. So the current's going in this direction, but the electron flow is opposite of the current direction. So electrons are actually, electrons want to go from negative to positive. So the electrons are going this way, current goes this way. Okay, so let's set this to voltage. Okay, so it's off right now. I'm going to turn it on. We're going to adjust it. So the power supply voltage, or the voltage across uh, the entire circuit, is about 10 volts. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. All right. So that's about 10 volts. And then we will record the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the diode. So we have resistor voltage is 9.43 volts. Diode voltage is 0 0.880 volts. Okay. Now, um, this resistor is only 100, less than 100 ohms, and we're running uh, a, a, quite a big a bit of potential across it, so the current is a bit high. So actually, if we let this sit, this resistor will get a bit toasty. And uh, here's a, actually one step. So here's a, a brief aside. So here's a, um, another type of resistor, but this one, is only, this one is only 50 ohms. So it's compared to this 100 ohms, ooh, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> compared to this 100 ohm resistor, this one has less resistance, but it's much bigger. And that's because this one can take a lot more power across it, or uh, wattage. Just remember, power is uh, current times voltage. So this, this is a bit beefier, and this one, of course, is because it's so much current going, it gets a bit hot. So that was 100 ohms. Now we'll move on to 1,000 ohms, 976 ohms. measure the voltage. This is measuring the voltage across this resistor. 
So right now it doesn't read anything because we haven't hooked up the power supply. Power supply is still on. Now we'll connect the positive lead here and complete the circuit. Okay, so that means there's something wrong with the, the circuit. Let's see what's, let's try to figure out what's wrong. Um, could be a loose wire. Oh, I'm in the wrong, the wrong row. That's why it's not completed yet. So there we go. So this one's reading 9.48 volts. And the diode is now 0 0.09. Excuse me, 0 0.809. 0 0.809. And the last one is above one mega ohm. Nine point six six volts, zero point six one two volts across the diode. Okay, so now we're, th we just did forward bias. So we were applying a, a forward potential across the diode. We're gonna do the same uh, procedure, but applying a reverse bias. So we're gonna switch the leads of the power supply. So now that there's a, now we'll apply a negative potential across the diode and do the same thing. We measure voltage across the resistor, voltage across the diode. I'm gonna keep the configuration of the resist, the multimeters so it should read a negative voltage. So we're putting the negative lead on the resistor now. The positive lead, no, excuse me, <laughs> that's the same. Putting the negative lead on the end of the diode. No, that's right. Negative lead on the resistor, positive lead on the diode. And we're, we're starting still with the one mega ohm resistor. So here we have across the resistor is now negative 0 0.867 volts. Across the diode is negative 9.39 volts. Okay, we'll swap resistors. We'll go down in resistance now. And now 98.9 .9 ohms. We have less than less than one millivolt across the resistor. We'll just call it zero zero. We'll call it zero volts, and then negative point two five volts across the diode. So the multimeter can only go down to uh, one millivolt in accuracy. So it's it's probably it's probably above zero. It has to be above zero volts.